Today represents the nine month mark in a four year development project by which civil engineers and many other engineering disciplines will be able to talk together to start thinking about how to solve tomorrow's problems. We call this a provocation machine. It is designed to create a new kind of thinking in, in the younger generations. Many of the older engineers, of the really well-established engineers, are the ones who are most excited about this. If you go out on the floor, you will see engineers in their 70s and 80s with VR goggles on saying, wow. And right next to them, an engineer in their 20s who's saying, wow. This isn't looking at a plan set or some technical diagram. This is an immersive experience. It carries a wow factor and a sense of understanding. I was kind of scared at first. I'm scared of heights. And so I didn't realize that I was going to be feeling the feelings that I would feel in the real world through the VR experience. Um, when it went underwater, I, I literally was weak in the stomach. It felt that good, the graphics were that good, and the, the movement was that real to me. It more than exceeded my expectations. And the use of this technology will cement the civil engineering industry as being on the forefront of innovation. So I teach at a graduate level, but also do outreach to high schools and grade schools. And so I think this would be a great tool to allow them to get excited about what's going on in engineering. In my 37 years of membership at ASCE, this is the most inspiring, motivating thing. I can't wait to share it with other people in our industry. The validation that the imagination that every engineer uses all the time. The fact that you can put this into a VR virtual reality format and let everybody live your imagination is fantastic. And we can build it together. It's so exciting. This is gonna allow us to get ahead of the game. The sessions that we run at this conference are designed to inform, but they're also designed to be a massive market test, if you will. We're really looking for the feedback. We can take that feedback and make sure our end product is as fine-tuned as we possibly can. So, so far we've developed the floating city from 2030 through 2050. Oh, I think there's huge benefit to having everybody working together. You can be critical or you can be supportive of ideas that are inside this space. Any contribution you make is going to change the space. There's this great um, opportunity that goes beyond collaboration, it goes into a partnership for change. Someone says something, the next person takes that thought and carries it to another point. It comes back and keeps growing and expanding on itself. That's the benefit of collaborative group effort. And whatever we can imagine, uh, we can create. The Future World Vision will help drive us forward in multiple ways. It's going to attract the engineer of tomorrow, but it's also going to get us out of our space, out of our codes and standards where we typically practice and make us think, well, what, what do I have to build if that's the future? If we continue to collaborate, we can build something that is very robust and that allows the members of ASCE to contribute to the vision that we all would like to see. The value of this tool is to benefit civil engineers right now. When you see change coming, infrastructure has to change with it because believe it or not, we have clients who are already thinking about those things.